You want a test pressure of a minimum of 30 PSI. In my case, I, I like to go a little higher, so I'm going to do it at 50 PSI. First, for 30 minutes, I'll overfill 15 or 20 PSI, so I've, I've filled it to 65. For 30 minutes, every 5 or 10 minutes, I'll keep topping it up, and then I'll drop it down to 50. Now, the overfill lets the pipe expand. If you don't give it a chance to expand to this new pressure, then when you bring it up for your pressure test, if you just went to the, to the one pressure you want to test, the pipe will expand a little bit over time and your pressure will drop and you may think you have a leak when you don't. So 15 or 20 PSI over, 30 minutes, drop it back down to your, your actual pressure test. Check your code for your area. I like to do the pressure test as long as possible, so if I can do an overnight, that's better. Longer is better. Do one up to 24 hours, as little as 30 minutes, although I think that would be foolish. Again, longer, the truer indication of no leaks. So to do my pressure test, I'm going to take my, my send and return. One of them, I'm going to use crimp connector and a half inch plug crimp that off now on the other side to pressurize you want to have a unit with a half inch connection, air inlet, and a pressure gauge, 100 PSI. You can buy them ready made. I think for the money, that's the way to go. Uh, if you make it yourself, which can be done, you've got all these connections. In this case, they're one, two, three, four, five connection points, which all could leak. So buy them pre made, less chance of leaking. Uh, smarter way to go for the money. I needed one right away, so I made this by hand. I'm going to put on the crimp ring first. My gauge. Alright, so it's the next morning, 12 hours later, and I can see here that I'm still at 50. It looks like it may have gone down perhaps a half of a PSI, but that can easily be explained by temperature drop overnight. Uh, the house is about 8 degrees cooler than it was when I filled this up, and so I'm happy with that. Everything looks good. Take this pressure test very seriously because you don't want to put a floor over top of PEX that is leaking. That would be a disaster. So take every precaution and make sure that the integrity of your PEX is perfect.